Alrighty, Roo, and Cuckoo Kachu to you, and all my nobodies now watching out there. As we sit here, looking at Isling Sturbridge and her, well, just that, I mean, it's just static. They're all static, but hers is worse. So, well, no, they're all, they're not all terrible, but hers is pretty bad. Um, and her saying no, even though I've done her such a favor, and all I wanted was like an actual reward. You you can keep your lackey. I don't want him. Take him back, please. I I I, I I'll, I'll find the receipt. I I just don't want to return. It's effective. You don't know how defective it is, and if you do, you are not a good sire. Um, but um, if she says no, I try to come up with like a really good thing. And honestly, for whatever reason, my creativity for that on that front. Like, I don't know, like, I guess it's just not there, like, I guess part of me is like, they would just kill me. Um, like, I could steal everything, I could just burn the place down. Uh, you know, I could, again, just take the files back, but they, they already have it. Like, I could, you know, I could, I could get, um, I don't know, hope to steal the files for me, you know? Or just, honestly, the most logical thing I think I came up with was just like, just have hope. Just be like, hey, hope. We're friends. Do you want to have some fun? I'm not going to give you any instructions. I'm just going to say, I, I, it's like, I'm just going to explain the situation. It's like, so I worked really hard to make these Tremere like me. And I got them what they wanted. I got them the information right. And you know what, like as an outcape, you know, it's like, that's what you gotta do. You gotta get, you just gotta get these people the information. I, I got them their notes, and I didn't even get to look at, uh, they let me look at them, but they were just blank pages because I don't have magic. You know, I'm not Harry Potter enough for that shit. That's fine. Um, maybe that's what I would do. <laughs> just steal all the books and replace them with, with, God, with the whichever book of Harry Potter is the worst. <laughs> I could do that. That would be funny. I like that one. <laughs> but just like let hope just go ham on them. Just be like, you know, just like with tech and stuff. Just like, you know, it's like, like I know they don't use technology, but she would find a way. <laughs> she would find a way to make it inconvenient. <laughs> She's very creative. She would not cave in that shit. Although I do think stealing all their books and then replacing them all with like whichever copy, whichever, whichever part of the series is just like the worst. Maybe not even. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Just, just to be like, and then sell the books or something, because I probably wouldn't have any use for them, you know. <laughs> just flee the country. <laughs> but um, that was one thing. Uh, and then um, I did, I didn't remember. I I watched my old uh, the other video, and I remember looking up Daffy Duck and how much that made me laugh. And I did go to Urban Dictionary, and there were uh, things from Urban Dictionary, and I will share. The ones that I'm okay with existing, because there are some things that I'm like, no, no, I've made my day worse by by knowing this. Someone took the time of their life to write this down. Um, one of them is, you know, Daffy Duck is like, oh yeah, that guy's like, it's a really dapper guy, or you know, somebody dressed really well. Like, oh hey, the Daffy, you know, it's like, oh look, it's the Daffy Duck there, you know, it's like kind of like a, I guess like an English thing or that sort of vibe to it. And then uh, the, another uh, definition was like that Daffy, uh, Daffy Duck rhymes with fuck, so you replace Daffy, um, you know, with the word fuck, as it's like, oh, fancy a Daffy then, you know, like something like that. Like I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I think the first one was probably the most like normal, like actual related to well, one another's two. Uh, one of them was like. To, to Daffy Duck would be just like push all the buttons, twist all the knobs, pull all the levers, you know, but none of the right ones. All like you, if, if you somehow know which ones are right and you push all the wrong ones all at the same time and just basically just cat catastrophe, just chaos and all that. Uh, I thought that was, I was like, I like that one, you know, it's very Invader Zim, but also very da Daffy Duck, you know, I like that. Um, and then the other ones, like, you know, like, I think I even mentioned it, just, just like, you know, like, you know, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season, then you switch your thing around. But I feel like that's more of a bug with bunny thing, because Daffy's the one that gets hurt, and that, in most cases. Um, um, and then I did come up with my own, and it sort of straddles the border of whether or not I'm okay with it existing, or if I, if I can even say it. I did not 
I don't think I have an account on Urban Dictionary, but I, I, I might add it if I, if I remember later. But needless to say, um, it's more like the sort of thing that uh, like in Agathon might pay for, and it's not particularly a pleasant thing. It involves a power tool, a sex toy attached to it, um, the knowledge that uh, apparently um, many species of ducks, maybe all, I think it's just many, uh, have corkscrew penises, apparently. That's a thing. I, I, I learned that from somewhere else. I think it was like Casual Geographic, and I was like, well, huh. Okay. And it's basically so the ladies can be like, yeah, nah, uh-uh. Like, I can't stop you from doing this, but I can stop you from, like, succeeding. And it's like, well, that's... I don't like that at all. <laughs> like, God, that just made it worse. <laughs> um, but hey, at least you can kind of plan B yourself or something. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I didn't put it very well. And then uh, you got to throw in some curly fries on the inside of the, the sex toy just for um, good measure. They need to be hot, <laughs> fresh, freshly from the grease. <laughs> and you just put it together. Just do the math. And now we will resume and hope that that is all things that I was, I'm able to actually say. Um, oh, but uh, I would not encourage you. <laughs> as much as all that was, but that mine was that bad. Don't go look up what the other ones of Daffy Duck were. Spare yourself, all right? All right. You know what to expect from Urban Dictionary, but sometimes even then you're just like, mm-mm, I don't like that. Mm-mm, no. I'm sad that I came here today. <laughs> like, no. That was, I just wanted to have a good time. We were all having a good time. Like, but, yep. So I think, yeah. Um, yeah, because when they're... You know, and they're, you know, not looking, you know, celerity, all the books out, or like when they're gone, or they're supposed to be doing something somewhere else together, it would be hard, I'd probably need hope or something, but get all the books out of there and replace them with the, the copy of whatever is worse, the worst, like the, the widely renowned worst part of Harry Potter, you know, or even better. <laughs> Go full, uh, what was the guy's name from you? Like, he could actually, like, repair books and, like, respine them. Take the contents of the book out. And then replace the inside with that. So it still looks like the real things I don't notice. And then they're like, motherfucker. It's like, it's like, takes a while. You know, you're just like... <laughs> it gives you some time to run. They're, again, if she's even just touching one of these books, could probably like kill you or something. Like opening one, but you know, from here. But maybe I give them too much credit. I don't know. But I think that would be a fun way. But realistically, like my character, since that would be a lot of like, I don't know if I could even do that. Like, so that's just like I think that would be fun. That's what you know, Malkavi and me would do. Uh, Toriador me that doesn't have that sort of like power and you know resources and I've been a vampire for less than two weeks still I think we'd probably just sick hope on him and just say have fun here's the situation you you know let the punishment fit the crime and the most logical thing would she would just steal something that she that she thought would like I would want but I don't think she would do that like I think she would just be she would come up with a clever interesting thing that would be like, well, they do owe you something, but I'd rather them give it to you, you know? So if I can annoy them into giving it to you or drive them crazy, like just continuously dementation them, you know, just like, like every time they like follow them around and every time they feed, like, before they feed, just hit, the, hit that person that they're about to feed from with, like, a huge hit, like, you know, do something. That when they feed, they're, like, they drink the, the crazy blood. <laughs> it's like, damn it, what's, what's going on? I don't know if that works that way, but that might, that might work. Or just use tech to just mess them up. I don't know. We're moving on. If I come up with a better one, 
I will. Those are the things. Kind of happy with the thing I said about Daffy Duck and also kind of not. Um, yeah. I feel like it's like, you know, if it was that sort of thing, it's like, look, you, you, you have to provide the, the power tool. you got to provide the, the gear for it. And it's like, and I, I, you know, and the grease for the fries or something. I don't know. I have to. <laughs> I need a kitchen, a power tool, <laughs> a sex toy, <laughs> and uh, some curly fries. It's like I don't want to play with this now. <laughs> Wherever you're going with this, I definitely don't want in. I'm gonna leave you to your business, Agathon and Juno. There's some Rule Thirty Four nightmare fuel for you. You guys have fun. <laughs> we all have fun here. <laughs> ah, all me by myself. It's the meme, myself, and I show. Together, we are the band, the Mies. All right, moving on. Kind of like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, my, this, this whole, um, mummy god that's standing there, he's growing on me. He's growing on me. But I think that's because I know about, like, um, certain monks that have, like, I know stuff about monks that have actually, like, chosen to be, like, mummified, and they've gone into, like, a, like, a permanent like like uh meditation to sort of like ascend and then like it like covered in molten gold or some stuff like that i don't i don't know I'm, I'm not i don't think i'm remembering it properly but i something there is happening i don't remember i've still not know too much stuff and it's fallen all apart and this, I, this, today's not the day to remember things but uh you know i will teach you uh, casual geographic about uh duck genitalia I mean, that's what I... That's, I learned it from watching you. Okay, moving on. Agathon nudges you towards the stairs, whispering. <laughs> ah, man, you guys are ungrateful. You're lucky that I cannot do the things that... That I have no real actual autonomy. And just the illusion of free will. And my creativity is is completely... Not... Like, this just like... It's... N backslash A. Let's go. Okay, that almost, like... Again, you always look like that, but you're nudging me and saying, let's go. Like, that comes off as a little threatening. Like, I know you always look like that. That's just your face. But after I just did you a favor and I asked for, like, hey, can I get a favor back? And I really just wanted, like, honestly, I've been happy. Like, I don't know. I haven't played VTMB forever, but... I remember there was like a stick. It was like a twig or something. And I'm like, ooh, I got a stick. And it was actually like it did something kind of cool, but it wasn't like super powerful. I don't remember what it did. But then a whole bunch of different things, the fetishes or totems. I can't remember which word they used, or maybe they would say one was one. And they were all like things you wanted. Like they were all like, even the weakest one was still pretty cool. I don't remember what the twig did. Maybe I'll look it up if I remember. <laughs> But I would be happy with a twig that, whatever that did, and I'd look, I'm gonna look it up later and be like, oh wow, that would actually, be, that was actually super powerful. It's a very powerful piece of wood. That's what she said. Moving on. Um, yeah, but let, let's go. Maybe he's right. It's better to quit while you're ahead. I'm not. Yeah, I have him on my side, but um, I don't really feel like that's a that's. I still feel like that's a loss. I I, I have now taken on a burden. Like, this is so fucking. He's a not not a casualty. But he's a liability. I've taken on responsibility for a liability. Like, I I'm now like I like an like a accessory after the fact, you know. And Juno's still out there. <laughs> he didn't do anything. I just man, I wanted to part ways. I would have been happy with the magic stick. <laughs> just go away. I don't remember what the other ones were. They all did something. But for some reason, the magic stick. <laughs> and not in, like, like a rapper sort of way. I got that magic stick. No, I just want to... Like an actual... Like, not a Harry Potter wand. But just... It was like a... I don't... Ah, man. That's going to drive me nuts now. All right. Yeah, better quit while I'm ahead. I am not. <laughs> yeah, no. That... I, I would have... To do that, I would have had to not ever come into this building. That's how I would have done that. You leave the bookstore with praise ringing in your ears. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I do not. You leave the bookstore with praise ringing in your ears. 
Did you use magic on me to make me think that that's what was happening? Because that's not what happened. He said the word good, and then he said the word job. <laughs> they came after each other, but there was a period. And she said that the pyramid had found a friend, in, an ally in me or something. I don't really consider that the highest of praises that would be ringing in my ears. This is not a cowbell and I got a fever and it's the only prescription, you know. Even the taciturn Agathon made man just smile. Oh, this game is just so poorly written. They're just like, we're going to try to force you to feel things that we want you to. You know, like we want, we are just, shh, it's okay, just keep playing. Sunken cost fallacy. <laughs> like, at this point, it's like I got to. Ugh, I looked at my other character. They went to like day 12. I know I'm on at least 13 or 14 now. I'm pretty much at the end of the, the game. I am committed. I got through this guy. I'm sure he'll find a way to fuck it up for me somehow. I already looked it up. I don't know what the ending is, but I already know that it's disappointing. Uh, just because that's like the first thing that pops up is that it's disappointing. And there's only basically like three endings and there's I didn't re read after I was like okay there's one actual ending when you actually finish and then there's two premature ones and I just like I'm like okay eh, they, they, that's enough I, if I get a premature one I get a premature one you know it probably just means I die I, I assume that was probably like you die in some way because you die or you do this and piss somebody off and some you know something like that you have no idea what will happen with the notes, but you feel that uh, the recent understanding with Agathon. Okay, so I got a trophy called Burn After Reading. And uh, that's actually a, kind of a funny movie. It's interesting. It's not great. It's got Brad Pitt in it and some other good people. Brad Pitt plays, plays a quirky character. It's, it's good. It's, it's a spy thing. I'm assuming that's what they're referencing, but they may that might be referencing something else. You know, and that's more of a like a comedy version of it or whatever. I don't know. Um, at any rate, man, like that achievement wasn't worth it. That's the that's the silver lining is that I got an achievement for this. This was so not worth it. I just hope I made it funny for me. You know, and in the unlikely event anybody actually does watch this, this part of it specifically, that it was. Like, at least my suffering made it funnier. Because this, this has just been stupid. Like, I, I hope I at least made it entertaining. Like, I, 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 it's more important that this bad part is more entertaining than the other parts of the game. Just because how on much I did not like this. I do not like him. He's an idiot. I tried to avoid the Nosferatu because I, I didn't really agree with him. But that was more like, I don't understand your logic. You're a Nosferatu. Maybe you're right. I, I regret my choices. But... You know what? I thought he'd be powerful, and he, you know, maybe he's a glass cannon. He'll use. I just, I actually just feel like he's just gonna screw me over. That Juno's just gonna show up, and I'm gonna get screwed by her. And honestly, I kind of wanted to just go with her, but honestly, every one of these, all these P, all these NPCs are terrible. Like, they're not all horrible, but they're all terrible in some way. Like, you know, they find a way to not. It may be worth it or something, but I don't even know if it's worth it because I don't know what I'm going to get out of this. Perhaps that's enough uh, in this world of backscamming and betrayal that you now inhabit for less than two weeks. Um, now, I've just learned that the Tremere are <laughs> way over. Like, I, at least, I feel, I, I'm kind of upset they actually, I don't know a lot about Tremere, but I feel like Unless it's all, like, uh, just effective propaganda. Like, Tremere are actually kind of badass, and they have been disrespected here. And I'm not, like, a Tremere fan. They're largely hated by other clans. Like, just generally. Like, even playing them. Like, it's like, oh, I played a Tremere with other people. And, like, I was just looking, like, how... I, like, tried to Google, like, how to annoy a Tremere because I just wasn't coming up with anything. And there was creative juice flowing for it. And it was just, like... They just kept popping up. Everybody hates me because I'm Tremere. What did that do? It's like... Because that's just how they... As, whatever. Okay. Well, at least... I hope I don't ever have to deal with that again. But you never know. And I should have three. I should have a Coterie of three. And I think that's about as well as I can do. 
uh, for, as far as filling my coterie out. I don't think I can get more than three. I don't think I have enough time to do that. Um, a piece of paper is sticking out of your mailbox. You've got mail. It's uh, a computer. <laughs> I didn't even see that part. That's kind of funny. Um, a note and a screenshot from Google Maps. It reads, Meet me at the indicated spot tomorrow at 10 p.m. I'll pick you up and we'll take it from there. That is so vague. Like, I hope this is from Hope, but this is this is basically, like, a less creepy version of, like, in, like a higher-tech, faster, lazier, less creepy version of, <laughs> like, you know, a magazine cutout. <laughs> like a hostage note or something. No signature. The place marked on the map is uh, a lookout point near Pier 1, uh, just next to the Brooklyn Bridge. See, we keep having to go back to Brooklyn. They want me to sleep. The world's telling me to sleep, and I... My mind's telling me no. <laughs> my mind keeps telling me yes, but my body... My body keeps telling me no. Or I don't know. It's maybe the other way. I don't fucking know. I know that's not the way this thing goes. Where is my myself dizzy? <laughs> kind of nice. All right. Um, yeah, I guess... I guess I have a date with somebody who knows how to use Google Maps. I wonder if they went to the local library. I hear they're very nice here in New York. Almost no P in them at all. You check the phone that Mia passed on to you. No new messages. No missed calls. It's a bit fishy, but you find there's only one way to... Uh, there's only one way to find out uh, who's, who addressed this to you. Oh no, there's a lot of ways. I, my first thing would be like... Hey, Hope, I have... Friend, girlfriend, um, do you mind if I talk to a few of you? Because I have like a couple different tasks and I'd like to, you know, have you focus. I don't want you all working at it. And it's like, actually, let's wait on the, let's wait on the Tremere revenge thing. Um, I want to, I want, I don't, I feel like if I tell you about that, you're going to get started on it and start, that's going to take your focus. This is more of a, a now thing and I, I need to know who did this. And she'd probably be like, yeah, oh yeah, here you go. <laughs> this person's trying to live this what's the name. <laughs> their driver's license is so scary. Like, I was like... <laughs> this is like, this is what it's like, they're not a vampire, they're this. They're just like, thank you! <laughs> you are better than a Nosferatu. I really don't know what is wrong with them in this game. Um, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> Love you! <laughs> You're totally worth all the problems. You do kind of scare me, but eh, it's a good kind of scary. Um, looks like tomorrow evening has been planned out for you. I mean, aren't they usually, like, it's like a, it's like basically, at least near the ending, it's pretty much like, every day is done. You know, sometimes you get half the night, but it's, it helps you kind of clean up all the ones that you didn't quite finish. It is what it is. Um, I'm just gonna just be like, I, I've got a date with somebody who knows how to use a library or computer or something. I don't know, somehow when they explain the printer, it just reminded me of like some of the like oldest printers where it's just like it's just like like the most it's like looking at like an old monitor where they're just like dots like you, it, it's almost like green even though it's not green or maybe it is green kind of green I don't remember um anyway you go downstairs as soon as you wake up once more glance at the phone but no news from Mia I may not I may have should have uh, just like lied and said that that was the thing I do know that I didn't do that that great and I may have made enough mistakes on that part that this may cause a problem between me and Sophie um but I feel like Mia and I had kind of a... It wasn't terrible. I did upset her uh, once. And I know I didn't finish the mission. But usually they're a little forgiving. But I am kind of... I, I do kind of have my tail between my legs. But losing to Bruce. Because I was like... I don't know why I thought I could just talk to him. Again, the super speed. It's like, dude, you're just a ghoul. Come on, chill the fuck out. And then he's like... I'm gonna hit that my man new! It's like, oh, well... Well, I guess I know that ghouls can... Like, you're not a vampire. I've had to deal with vampires, and it's been like, yeah, no. 
good luck, buddy. You know, I just fighty senses. I got out of the way. It's like, like a, a whole ass gang girl tried to rogue style aggravated damage protein sneak attack claws from his home turf, and I just, just you know, uncanny dodged it. But uh, I get surprised by you know not Jared Leto, you know <laughs> Jim Rat Jared Leto. Ghoul Jim Rat Jared Leto. And Jared is spelt with a G. <laughs> In this case. Ugh. Yeah, no, definitely tail. Ta th this is just like bad writing. I don't. I, I, it's like tail between the legs because the actual outcome. But it's also like. I feel less responsible for it. But, you know, whatever. You take the car down to Brooklyn. Park on the front of the street and. On the fr on front street and uh, approach the meeting spot cautiously. See, there's the uh, great eyeball in the sky. Um, just like, I guess, small spoiler for Doom Patrol. I don't know how important that is as a spoiler, but it does remind me of something that happened in Doom Patrol. I believe it was a giant eyeball. Anything else I can see here? Anything else interesting going on? Other than the lightning's pretty cool. You see those there, so I mentioned it's like, ha! The lightning is pretty cool, I like the lightning. Um, I'm not gonna waste too much time. The giant eyeball is obvious. The lightning's pretty cool. I don't see anything else, particularly. And I feel like the longer I stare, the more likely they will, because it sort of shows up over time. But I just don't really care. There's another eye kind of over to the left there that's looking in a different direction. Right. A figure of about Mia's size is standing there, dressed in an oversized jacket and looking out towards Manhattan. As you approach, you can hear her muttering something. Hmm. That makes me feel like she didn't do the thing because she went out of her way to give me the phone. I don't see that she wouldn't trust the phone. I feel like she also got um, a letter from somebody. Oh, see, now, you, now next to the eye to the left, it looks like there's something like a wolf there. Like a, a wolf face. And then there looks like there's another sort of human face next to it, but I can't really tell what, who, or anything. Yeah, there's like another wolf, or I don't know. Again, and maybe I'm just seeing things and hallucinating, but I'm pretty sure. I think these things are real, and they do have like a sort of like thing, and it's not just me and my susceptibility to hallucinations at this moment. Um, see, like, there's, like, a red thing coming in, in beneath the eye now. Like, these are, st these aren't static. They are ever-shifting. And it makes me, it's just weird to be, like, like, lots of props to whoever did this. But the fact that so few people will probably really, truly notice and or appreciate it. And that it's just going to sort of unsettle them because it's, like, and it may not even happen to, to something that isn't a Tremere. But I wouldn't think that they would use it just for the Tremere because everything, like, so much else about the game is so cheap. It's like they dump their entire, like, uh, like a huge part of their creative power and money and stuff in to these backgrounds. Like, like that was, whoever did this was just dedicated and was like, dude, you don't have to pay me a lot. I just want this to look badass. So, props to you. I hope I remember you when I do my little semi-review thing at the end and I better get to the fucking end properly and not get a premature end I may go out of my way to get a premature end I'm pretty sure one of the premature ends is you just piss off Kadir right right from the get-go um that's probably one and then the two the second one is you die somewhere along the way and it's just you died but whoever did this I hope I remember and I, I call your name out for a shout out because you, whatever you got paid, you probably deserve to get way more. And I hope that you do better in the future because of this game. My favorite thing about it, the most impressive and interesting thing in every way, is these backgrounds. I've spent so much time just talking and looking at them and just sort of... And again, like, I am in a state of where I don't have to stare at something like this to do that. I have been awake for way too long. I'm not even going to tell you how long... I have been. I said it earlier, and uh, I did actually make my goal, um, and I shared it with some people on Dropout, and they were actually genuinely concerned, and they were like, go to bed now. <laughs> and I'm like, ha I'll be fine. And I am. 
But um, they were like, I, I was like, I felt bad. I was like, oh, I was supposed, I was just hoping to make people. I was actually hoping to crash, and I ate, and I was like hoping that that would just make me tire. I'm like, nah, I'm real good at that extra wind, and I don't really 